welcome back. Today we're going to go through my Blade Show Hall EDC Fixed Blade Edition. These two were the knives that I carried almost every single day while I was uh, there at Blade Show. This one was hooked to my belt loop. This is the Griffin Co. Scout. Um, this is a 2.5 and absolutely loved it. I used it a few times and uh, yeah, these are, uh, I'm pretty sure, available now at DLT. I will link them down below if that is the case. Um, love this little guy. And uh, I was carrying it with an Alti clip, clipped to my belt loop. And I wore this as a neck knife, another uh, Griffin Co. This is the Medic. Um, not sure when these will be available again, but absolutely love this little scalpel of fixed blade, you know, non-threatening fixed blade. Even this one is too, but, uh, good neck carry, nice and thin, uh, thin, lightweight. Got those tie scales on it and one of their, uh, combat beads. So that's what I had on me during the show. And let's see what I bought during the show. First up, we have a TKL Piranha. These will be um, back in stock dropping in July. I will wait to drop my review of this knife uh, during that, whenever they are available or right before. Uh, this is a very small EDC fixed blade. Still get a nice grip on it, nice blade size on it. Um, comes with a nice kydex sheath. I love how they do these minimal kydex sheaths. And uh, I went for the pocket pocket clip carry that's what they I think they call this where you just clip it to the pocket because this is such a small little fixed blade uh, they got different scale options I went with uh, black micarta that was the last micarta one they had I think I, I bought the last one they had left at the show um, I don't remember the steel offhand uh, if I remember to I'll put it up here but really cool knife and the people at TKL so so nice uh, the, the husband and wife are so very uh, kind, and I love hanging out with them. This is the second year I've been able to hang out with them at Blade Show at their booth. So, super cool knives. I have another TKL knife that I'll probably do a video on here soon, but uh, we'll, wait. we'll have to wait and see. All right, now this came from recommendation from one of you guys on the channel. This is from Twisted Assisted, and this is The Gambler. Uh, super cool, smaller, easy fix blade, twisted assisted, very cool logo there. I think they're out of Europe, maybe, the Gambler. And there's several different options. There's uh, the cheapest option is in 14C and contoured uh, black, I think, or contoured G10 scales. They're not as thick as these, <laughs> but uh, it was awesome nonetheless. Uh, pretty sure this particular one is an S35 VN uh, because of the micarta, upgraded micarta. Fills out the hand nicely, the thicker scales. Uh, yeah. So whoever recommended this one, I see what you're talking about. And uh, yeah, I'll try to do a review on this one pretty soon as well. Y'all let me know down in the comments which one y'all want to see a review on first. The second to the last knife I picked up at Blade and this is uh, the Daily Knives AK-1, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you could get it either in this beautiful leather uh, slip sheath with a pocket clip, or you could get it with a Kydex. I thought this looked absolutely stunning. I can get a Kydex made if I want it. But one thing that I was shocked about this knife was the fact that it is extremely, extremely lightweight. Like, it doesn't even feel like I have anything in my hands hardly. Now, this particular one is, is uh, a little different than the Boker uh, released version. This one was hand ground by them. So this one's a custom RWL 34 steel, full flat grind. Uh, the Boker ones, I think, are saber grinds. And I went with the uh, natural canvas micarta and the cross-cut natural micarta overlay. They had several different options, titanium. And I'd been looking at this knife for a really long time. Uh, and I think I paid what you can get the regular Boker ones for. I think I, that's how much I paid for this one custom. So super cool. Glad to kind of have one in my uh, collection. Only thing I didn't like about this is that edge termination. And see, they just sharpened up to there because 
I think the Boker ones have like a, I don't know, dead spot there. So I probably cut in a choil. That's where the, what you call it, comes down. I'll probably cut a choil in from there up. I don't know. This is a new company to me. This is a very tiny EDC fixed blade. He said he likes to strap it to his backpack, like up on the, on the strap. I think this is an excellent little uh, horizontal belt carry knife or hook it to a belt loop. Nice Kydex sheath came with this uh, soft loop. And this is from OEG EDC. I had never heard of him before till the show. Super cool guy. He had two different variations. He had this one. It's called... Uh, ah, I'm not sure offhand. And there was one that had a little bit longer of a handle, but it had somewhat of a hot spot on it for me. So I went with this one. Uh, this one's all blacked out, contoured uh, G10, and it's in Magna Cut, made in the USA. Yeah, that that little symbol right here was coming out the back side of the uh, tang on the other one. So that's why I went with this one. It's a three-finger grip knife, um, you know. You'd be amazed how much you could actually get done with a three-finger grip knife. Uh, you know, light-duty task. That's what this is for anyway. I picked up this one, and I was kind of shocked. I'd seen this knife on Blade HQ, but I did not realize that these were made by White White River Knives. Uh, they make some really high-quality stuff. The, the Kydex sheath on this one's a little bit strong because of that notch right there. But this one is uh, the or made made for or galley by White River uh, S35 VN skeletonized, very very lightweight. That's the only reason I really classify this one as an EDC fixed blade because it is longer than what I usually like to carry. But it's so so lightweight. It's got a ferro rod striker spot up top. S35 VN full flat grind. Yep comfortable in hand yeah this one really shocked me on how you know how comfortable it was i love the the two jumping spots you know especially for doing these type of cuts like that nice peel ply g10 uh with a orange liner in there you got some jumping up there too for traction this is probably my favorite of all of them this is the actual last one that i picked up uh at blade this is the last knife fixed blade r folder this is the last one i picked up at blade and i'm very very glad i was able to find his booth because I, this won't be my last i promise this is coming from boat right knives it's in a cpm s 110v and he had several different uh fixed blades in different steels i got to talk with his wife because he wasn't there and he she was telling me you know, how much of a passion he has for knives and stuff like that. Um, I, the design kind of caught my eye first. Then I felt this nice hollow grind it's got on it. Very, very thin hollow. So this thing should be a slicing machine. Nice finishing work. Very nice and clean. And I like this. It's vintage paper micard on here with a, I think, copper tube comfortable this one's got a thicker scale thicker scales on it so even though i get like a three and maybe a quarter inch green three finger grip or three and a half finger grip i like how i can get all the way to that tip yeah this one not only looks good but i think this is going to function really well and s110v uh is a very uh good edge holding steel it's got a lot of vanadium in it a spur of the moment type thing and not something I would really buy usually buy but I was at the Strider booth and whenever I went to get my PT they said you can only get one folder and one fixed blade so my, my brain was still not even functioning yet because it's the first first booth I went to at Blade whenever I got in so I heard you get a folder fixed blade and I was like okay let me get a fixed blade too so she's, they were, somebody uh, had this one in their hand. They said, and they said, this is the last one of these. Um, so, I, you know, my brain was like, oh, I want that. So this thing is a beast. Cord wrapped. I forgot the name of this one. Uh, it's got a hollow grind on it, but it's still super thick behind the edge. Look at that. 
This is a sharpened pry bar here. It's in PSF 27 with there, I think either tiger stripes or ghost stripes. I forgot what this is. Nice and sharp. I'm probably going to do some hard use testing with this thing because it should be able to handle just about anything. Probably do some hard use testing on it, and I have a buddy that is going into the Marines, and I'll probably gift this to him if he, if he wants it. So we'll see. Yeah, so that's what I picked up at Blade Show as far as my fixed blades, EDC fixed blades. Let me know what y'all think. Oh, and one more that I forgot about. Didn't get this one from Blade Show, but I got it. It came in while I was at Blade Show. I got another Uinta Explorer. If y'all don't remember, I got this one a while back on the channel. This is the Drop Point, and I absolutely loved it. They had them available on the site. I don't think I've shown this one. If I did, I'm sorry. I, I know I did a short on it, but this is the Clip Point version with a Tiffany Blue G10 and a white, uh, I think it's a Cerakote on the 1095. I think it looks super cool. So yeah, love the UNC knives. Uh, I'm gonna start testing this one pretty soon. I'm just trying to catch up on some other stuff. Uh, my obligation stuff first. So yeah, there's all the, the EDC fixed blades and fixed blades. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know which one of these y'all would like to see a review on first. Like I said, on the Piranha, uh, it's probably gonna, I'm probably gonna wait to drop that review until they are about to drop. Um, also, I, like I said, I will put uh, a link down below if these are available at DLT. The Scout, I think 2.5, I think it is, with the newer version with the stone wash finish. Love this knife. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.